Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is how to upload Excel data into database using PHP spreadsheet in Coding Writer. So I have already shown you how to download Excel format in my previous video. So just go through that if you want to download Excel. So in this video, I'll just going to upload my Excel. So let me show you my Excel file. So that's the format of Excel file that I'm going to upload in my database. So let's quickly start with our form. So in index.php file, you can see I have one form. So pass action in that, write php eco base URL. After that also pass and type because it's a file that I'm going to upload. So write multi part slash form data and in base URL pass form slash spreadsheet import. So now let's go and create this same function in our home controller. Write public function spreadsheet import and inside that I'll be getting my input type file name that is upload file. So write dollar underscore files upload file and let's get name of the file. So now let's get the extension of file. So take that in a variable extension path info pass file name after that write path info underscore extension. So this will basically give us an extension of uploaded file. Check if extension double equals to CSV. Also check else extension let's say equal to XLS and last one will be XLSX. So basically I'll be fetching a different reader for different type of file. So let's take a variable reader inside that new PHP office slash PHP spreadsheet and for the first one is reader slash CSV. So for second type of extension I'll be going for reader XLS and for third type XLSX. So after that I'll be loading my file into reader. So take a variable spreadsheet equals to reader load and pass the file temp name in this. So now from the loaded Excel, I'll be getting my active sheet and that active sheet data, I'll be converting that to array. So get active sheet gives us active sheet and to array will convert the Excel data into an array. So after that, I'll be printing my sheet data. So now let's go in browser and upload our file. So choose a file and submit. So you can see there are four elements in that array. So if I'll show you Excel, so you can see I have four rows there. So all four rows are printed in my browser. Now just remove print R and let's count the sheet data. So let's take a variable sheet count and pass count in that and check after that check if condition if sheet count is greater than one. I'm just checking greater than one as I'm just ignoring the header that is serial number and product. So I'm starting a for loop. So it will start from one to sheet count. So first one is product name that I'll be getting. So basically I'm just looping my complete sheet data by a row and column. Let me show you one uh, like Excel sheet. So you can consider as a 2D array like 00, 0 index, 0, 01 index, 0, 02. So now let me show you product name how I'm getting it. So firstly print product name, remove second line. Now let's go and refresh in browser. So now you can see I'm getting three product names. So now let's get other column as well. So second one is quantity and that is present in second column. So as an index, I'll be passing two. Third one is price. So I'll be passing index as three. So after that, I'll be creating one array to insert in database. So write data equals to array. 
so first one is product name past product name in that second one is product quantity so I'm just taking the key from database product quantity pass variable product quantity third one is product price pass variable product price in this define data array as blank outside loop and insert in data so now we need to insert this in database so in models I have just created a basic layout of model so now let's just load this model in our controller so write this load model pass name of the model that is home model so in my controller I'm just calling a function so let's say this home model insert batch and pass this data in that so now let's create the same function in our model that is insert batch so copy the name of the function that is insert batch write in model public function and paste the name that is insert batch so in model write this db insert batch and first one is table name I have product table and pass this data that I have sent from controller then check one if condition if this db affected rows is greater than zero then I'm going to return one and if there is no affected rows then return zero you can also pass true or false so now in our controller take this in a variable and check one if and else condition if insert data is like true or false so according to that I'll be setting flash data so if true write this session set flash data so first one is name let's say message then type value of that so I'll be passing one div let's say class alert alert success because it's true then write message in this so write message successfully added after that redirect this to home page and for failure I'll be just passing same thing just change success to danger and change message let's say data not uploaded please try again so now in our view let's get this flash data so after my heading I'm just writing PHP write this session flash data and get the name of the flash data that is message oh, wait okay in my controller I have to set flash data I have just passed flash data so now here in view check one if condition if this flash data is set then only display this so now let's go and check in browser so I have cleared my database so let's go and upload one file and submit so in my database if I'll refresh so you can see three products are inserted so now if I'll go to my view you can see I have flash data is there for successfully added so that's how you can upload your data to MySQL using PHP spreadsheet so so I have shown you a basic of how to read a file and upload that to your database so if you want to have some checks on uh, while uploading a file then let me know I will help you out so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel